Yes, a pleasant good night to each and every one of you in Guyana, Georgetown. Tonight, as you may be aware that I always love to challenge politicians and preachers, it is not a matter that I hate them or dislike them. These are people you should learn from, whether good, bad, or ugly. But I ask many questions over and over. I would even challenge the Almighty God for a lot of things. But let's deal with human tragedy and the human being that we have to look up to. I wanted to know one reason. I am from Guyana like many others. I was born in the time of the British. Unfortunately, the Indian and the Blacks leader fought for independence because they believed that would have been better. But after 1966 and we gathered the independence, and I'm not even touching the uprising with Blacks attacking Indian but in the city of Georgetown, killing people up in Mackenzie and Wismer, not forgetting on the West Coast where Indian retaliate on number one and number two, Canal and Lenora and High Front and other area. It is plain and simple. <laughs> Don't forget Boxton with fire. India was murdered. Young women was, was tear into a half. Little girls. And these were Indian children. So to you, the black people of Guyana, who born after 1966 or late 1960, but were pretty young to understand what goes on. Let us not forget our history and study the history of India and Africa when we have nothing to do with them. Let us stop being a hypocrite and find out where we are today and what led us to this department. Yes, it is right for me to have independence from any country because no one wants to be a slave for no one. But is it better? Personally, I do feel we should have never had independence from the British. And if so be the case, Indian and Black should not have grown Guyana. The Black should have returned to Africa as an independent people, freedom, and the Indian should have returned to India so there was higher servant, indentured liberal. But the British played a game and gave independence to Guyana. Towns of the United Force led by a Portuguese man named Peter de Gaulle, who collate with the PNC. PNC had 18 seats, the United Force had seven, Dr. Jagan had 22. What a fantastic number during the period of the time of our country going for what you call independence. But what happened? Too many things happened. After Burnham ruled Guyana, Arthur Chung was elected, who's a relative of mine, by the way. And I could name it if you wanted a test of blood and DNA. And they use him as the president of the country. China gave six to seven hundred million dollar help at that time, or maybe more than that. I don't think that money was paid back because the Chinese president. And of course, the Chinese decided to show a little gratitude by assisting. Know your history. Ask Carl, the taxman for Burnham. Ask him. Tell him Coriah said so. But my real name, really and truly, growing up as a little boy, everybody who knows me will tell you. I'll keep that as a secret because I'll bring a quiz to him. And unfortunately, we did not get what we asked for in Georgetown, Guyana. It was ruled by blacks. Have nothing against it, they're Guyanese. But what they have done after they ruled the country. Burn them, delete. <laughs> you talk about corruption? How can you explain a man who couldn't afford to pay for a bicycle as a lawyer at that time, or his car, was the second or fifth richest black man in the world in the late 70s? Ask yourself that question, ladies and gentlemen. Don't knock Robert Tarr and don't knock Mr. Barajan. There's a man like me must hit that question. Because a thief can't tell another who thief more and who thief less. They're all thieves, if you want to be fair. But let's deal with a man called Ram Kemraj Ramjatan. Look at this. Listen up, PPP. Reinstate Ramjatan. Does this sound to you like a man who really wanted to move the PPP? Or because he was rejected like the Potagon son. He was kicked out, ladies and gentlemen. He was not like Ralph Ram Karan and boy who resigned. Nagamutu, all them people, is a big problem. Their appetite was aiming towards presidency, but they couldn't follow the policy of the party constitution, so they get kicked out. And they form a group. This is like the angel get thrown out of heaven and fighting on earth to go back into heaven. God didn't accept them, so they got a lot of repenting to do. Same goes to Mr. Kamran Ramjata from the PPP. He fought to go back. He came to New York, and these were the T-shirt. Read it for yourself, and look at the back of democracy. All because he was rejected, he formed AFC with another outcast called Trackman. No effect, no personal thing against you, gentlemen. 
But the truth of the matter must be told to our people. This is our history and our legacy. One was thrown out by Desmond Hyde because he didn't get what he wanted by Stratman. The other one was thrown out by the PPP because he didn't get what he wanted, and that was Ramjitan. And they come together like two wayward angel spirit, forming a body to go against the ruling party. And who was the ruling party? When Mr. Ramjitan get thrown out, and when Mr. Tratman get thrown out, Haidt have already lost his position. Because Haidt didn't, he, I think Ramjitan get kicked out after Tratman get kicked out. Now as a man who looking at it, could this be an arrangement between the PNC and the PPP? So these two people have come together form a party to put the united force out like what happened to Manzur, who sell his soul, his spirit, and he will sell his staff to heaven. Hypocrites all the way. And I have no apology for these gentlemen, but I want to tell you the truth. The truth of the matter in our time. PPP might be corrupt. Yes, you might say they're teething, but you've got to show the proof. We all make allegations. An allegation without proof is really and truly a word bouncing like a ball and there's no player. But we see a lot of building put in up. We see a lot, and between you and I, where there is development, there is corruption. But Burnham, destroy Guyana and very corrupt to the core. And every black, and I ask Hamilton Green, sir, before you depart from God, will tell the truth, man. Tell the truth. Because you look like Mugabe, but you are not Mugabe. Speak the truth. What you all done to Guyana in your time of reign of power was racism, corruption, division, and extortion to the highest of Guyana history. The PNC done it. Bernard was the head, and others followed. You all were living like king and queen. But the time comes when democracy rings the bell and changes must prevail. But Ramjitan now talking about PPP corrupt. Tratman talking about PPP corrupt. Well, if PPP corrupt, Ramjitan is radical. He was a part of it for all the years of corruption. Now he come out, he want to make a change. What kind of solution he offer? If they had accepted him, this is his t-shirt, not mine. He would have been there today fighting if they had elected him and make him prime minister candidate or presidential candidate, and he would have talked about democracy and expulsion and all of that. Don't be a fool. Wake up. You Indian must tell your children about the past of the 60s and the 70s, and the humiliation and insult you went through in a country called Guyana on the black slave, great-grandchildren of black slaves, which I'm not saying that the black people are all bad. You got wonderful black people in Guyana. People with inspiration, vision, and understanding, but they are not the one who ruled Guyana. They killed them. Rodney, Uini, Dublin. You see, Guyana was a man of Guyana history. You talk about Mandela, let's talk about man. But, but, uh, you see, Guyana, see the king. Those are leaders, even though he said, that's divide the country. But nevertheless, Politicians make mistakes like everybody. Even preachers make mistakes. Muhammad make mistakes. Jesus make mistakes because they try to gather people together. Mistakes are there for a human to make because we are not better than God. Even God make mistakes when he says wrong the world. But my argument is don't vote for AFC. It's a party filled with a lot of people who were thrown out of the two major parties. And this is Ramjatan on. I ain't got Trotman on because I don't think he was so ignorant and foolish to come to reinstate back into PNC, even though he tried, but they reject him too. So we ask this question, whose side are they on? The side of the people or the side of politics? And what is Ramjitan fighting or Tratman fighting? Are they fighting to free the country? Or are they fighting to get back to these two major parties? Who become APNU? PPP still stand up at PPP, that they at C. C can stand for many things, can stand for country, can stand for charity, and it could stand for commercialized, which means business as usual. But ladies and gentlemen, APNU, PNC reform, which was deformed, now they become APNU. Imagine WPA joined with them with many more. CN Sharma party was with them. The man resigned and pulled out. I want David Ranger and other PNC affiliate to ask me, what happened to Mr. Murray? What was competing for the leadership of the APNU or the PNC? And what happened to Ms. Bakker? Tell me, two Indian descendants die suddenly. I am not saying foul play, but if that is not foul play, it might be the play of a guinea bird. Answer the question and tell me, ladies and gentlemen. And even when Sharma's son resigned from the party, who replaced him? Is it another Rasta replaced the three of them? As Barnum once said and Hyde said, a Rasta shall take my place. 
We want a nation ruled by Guyanese not people of Indian descendant and black descendant who are fighting for Africa and India while Indian people are suffering and black people are suffering and they divide you like the Amarala River versus the Esequibo or versus Burmese. Let's unite for a common cause. Put Guyana forward. Hold our politician accountable. We need young generation. I am looking for a day when a black president and an Indian prime minister and a Chinese accountant Finance Minister and the seven, Six Nations can sit and run Guyana with peace, love and harmony for the development of the people and not self-interest, not the pocket of their family. When the police can arrest you and charge you for a crime and don't be judge and jury outside and ask for a handout in the corner. I know a lot of you may not like it, but for the decent and honest police officers and civil servants, I think duty-free concessions should be given to them every four or five years for a car or something up to them. A money should be hand to them for a very low income to build a nice house so they can mind their family and they must get a better salary. For the police them who are doing good, I think they must be having a trip where the government will um, sponsor it around or the children a scholarship to show the gratitude. Not our ministers them traveling around the world and getting free go. This is nonsense. The country belongs to all of us. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the vision I have, it will be for none of us. Wake up. You lock up my son innocently. That is not going on the ice and disappear. That, that is coming back. So those who did not got to tell us why they do it, who was the one that influenced them. Because we know what goes on. And we're going to be honest with you. That is one thing we want, justice. And if you kill my family, we will kill yours. And if you kill me, mine will kill you. So let's face reality. The world changes, man. And all of us have a price. And the beautiful part of the story, any man that commits a crime has to pay, whether you like it or not. It is not a threat. It's a message direct to you. Don't interfere with me, I won't interfere with you. Let's live in peace, love and harmony. Let's develop the world we live in and make it a better place. Stop playing a race card in Guyana. It's not Africa. It's not India. And if you believe in the teaching of the Bible and the Quran, the Bokmawati country, treat him with honor, decency and respect. Don't treat him like if he's a low class citizen. Are you fools or not ashamed? You go to your church and some you call it Jesus. You think you want to have mercy and you'll listen to you? When you're joining hands to vote, vote for people who are wicked, naive and corrupt? Or you Muslim running and call them Muhammad and Hindus and Ram and Krishna? These people fought war. For what? The same thing that we are speaking about. Wake up you blind bats and deaf fools. I don't need your votes. I'm telling you from in front. I need to help you because I'm a human like you. I need to work with you. But you must remember, do unto others as you will like them do unto you. Thank you for this present minute, but I'm coming back with another one.